Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Transylvania. So you guessed it right, it's the famous Dracula castle that everybody talks about, the scary vampire stories that you heard. Actually, the story of Dracula was made by the author Bram Stoker. It took seven years to make this story. He searched for the myths, all the traditions of all the superstitions that us Romanians have and created a story about uh, the bloody impaler making it look like a vampire actually a funny thing to know is that bram stoker never ever visited dracula's castle never been to transylvania but somehow became the most successful author selling um, the dracula story dracula story is the second most read book in the world after the bible bloody impaler was known for being very cruel uh, he used to pa punish uh, the thieves. The stories say that uh, he was thirsty for blood. This is where the vampire uh, name comes from. He was known uh, to be thirsty for blood because the punishments were for the thieves. If they stole something, he would chop off their arms or he would impale the thieves and um, put them on a stick in front of everyone to know. The story about the impaling is he, he used to, a stick that went through the back door <laughs> and came out through the mouth, but without touching the lungs or the heart so that people don't die from this and actually stay alive for three days and suffer. After that period, this castle was the vacation home for Queen Marie and she used to stay here. She loved Romania. She was known for being very brave queen. She participated in the war when everybody was telling her, go away, it's a war queen, you have to be protected. She decided to stay in the war, fight, and uh, take care uh, nursing the soldiers. Queen Marie also loved the traditional Romanian clothing. You can see her in the pictures in the castle. She decided to wear traditional Romanian clothing to make the culture be seen by everybody. Also, she was a lover for literature and art, and you can find many of the writings and buy her books uh, from the castle. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but vampires and werewolves are just myths. Romanian culture, it is indeed superstitious and you can still hear uh, that people in the rural areas still believe, in the, still believe in certain superstitions, but this is all a myth. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.